Hey everyone, welcome back to my garage. I got this long board of white oak. It's an inch and a quarter thick, four and a half inches wide, 93 plus inches long. So I got a four and a half by four and a half inch square marked out with a circle in it. Um, I'm gonna start cutting these up all the way down the board and laminate them in groups of two. So they'll be two and a half inches thick and turn a dozen uh, cocktail smokers out of this, a small little production run for the Christmas holiday. So this video will probably come up sometime in November, but uh, starting it now here in October. Let me get the saw out and start cutting away. finished cutting up that board got about five inches left over in case I need an extra piece but uh, we got 12 sets of two we'll start gluing these up laminating them together over the next week or so and you see I already got the I already got the screens for the smokers but yeah we'll get turning these soon uh, maybe in the next couple weeks and it'll be uh, a dozen cocktail smokers for the holidays Christmas season All right, I'm finally back a couple weeks later. Got these all glued up, even a couple with glue blocks on them. I marked out uh, four and one quarter inch circles on all of them because I want these to be at least uh, four inches, four inches thick um, or round. But before I get to turning, which I'm really anxious to finally do, I got to cut these corners off to make it a little bit easier on myself. <laughs> Nothing fancy, just to make it easier and quicker. Bring it back to the lathe in just a minute. All right, I'm here at the lathe finally. After all this time, finally ready to start turning. I hardly ever use them, but I'm gonna use a lot of carbides in this because uh, it's gonna be a lot of flat surfaces um, and just tight spaces and stuff. But first step is getting this thing round. Turn in uh, 875, let's just round this off. I mean, I won't use carbides too much, at least on the sides. Don't like that tear up. A little more to go, though, obviously. And I'll switch to the bowl gouge for that. It's night and day. So that's why I never use carbides. <laughs> Maybe I'm holding it wrong. Obviously, I don't care about this bottom because that's going to get way turned down um, going into the glass where the smoke comes out of. But look at that. Perfect surface. All right. So now that it's round, uh, it's time to start on the lid. Okay, we're working on the lid first. Um, it's exactly four inches round. That's as skinny as I want to make this. Um, so I did a little parting mark, just a little bit down. Got a half inch here, and one and fifteenth sixteenths down here for the base. 
marked out for a two inch tenant so I can do the back side of the lid. So I'm just gonna turn the top of the lid, sand it, flip it around and then chuck, do the bottom of the lid, sand it, then we can get to the guts of it. couple different ideas for the for the lid or for the whole design but uh, the, the tenant to the lid will actually be the handle now I'll round this over wanted to round this very slightly so I had to fix the tenant it came in at one and seven eighths inch long three sixteenths inch deep so that'll be this kind of this is the top of the lid and I want it square on the side because you'll see what I'm gonna do later on so I think that's pretty much it I might round it just the very slightest more but then I'll bring it back I'm gonna, after I'm gonna sand the top of this and then part this off, saw it the rest of the way, and get this flip, this lid flipped around on the chuck, then we'll come back with the bottom. So everything on this, I'm gonna sand up to 400. I'm just showing that, so it's the last time I have to show any sanding, right? <laughs> It should be 420 for this project and it looks good um, yeah looks really good top of the little end um, this is the prototype obviously my first one of 12 this one will be for me I'll test it out go through this whole video this whole process so there'll be tweaks this uh, lid ended up a little shallow so I'm gonna rethink I got to part it off next but I'm gonna rethink uh, exactly how I was gonna have this lid sit on the base. Um, I might still do the same thing, but it doesn't have the depth uh, that I was expecting. Anyhow, be back in a second. I decided to show part of this because I never use a parting tool. Don't do much spindle work. Closer, I'll use this, uh, a pull saw. Um, this isn't spindle work, obviously, but I, I don't do I do mostly bowls, so I don't get to use parting tools very often. All right, got the lid sawed off and turned around. Um, I stuck that parting tool a little too deep and got myself my first catch. Um, it's too thin to completely turn out, so it's just going to be like I said, this is my prototype. Um, but I marked off a quarter inch because it's just going to be slightly very slight little how it sits on the top of the, the base but let's get this uh, bottom taken care of Obviously, so so thin it doesn't like when I go to the edge, right? But I'm gonna very very lightly go up to that quarter inch and just make this concave right here. Uh, 
that's from where that catch was. So we got, I don't know, somewhere between an, a sixteenth of an inch and an eighth of an inch lip. And I can't go much further. I'm going to try to get it to a full eighth of an inch, just as gently as I can be, and then we'll sand this thing. Be done with the lid. Spending way too much time on this lid for my prototype. <laughs> when it's the base that matters. A little lid for the cocktail smoker. Okay. I told you I wasn't going to show sanding again, but I did that. Let's see if I can find where that catch was. Oh, right there. You barely see any remnants of it, so yeah, it is what it is out of here hopefully it won't get marked up yep nice nice thin little lid so i'll get this back in there this is going to go on top and obviously there'll be room for this down here I don't know if you can see this there'll be room for this right so now we get to go to the meat of the project now that this little lid's done put it off to the side and God willing, we won't see this again till the very end of the project. Back soon. All right, I'm gonna go one and a half inches deep with a one inch Forstner bit. The, the screen I bought is tapered, went one inch deep with a one and a half inch Forstner bit as well. All right, I got this marked at, uh, what is this, five eighths down, because this is gonna be the top of the base. This is for that little lip. And now since I don't have a center, I got a mark, I'm gonna use my, uh, when, I, when I eventually flip this around, I'm gonna use my 70 millimeter jaws. So I need a, let's see. Let me get this centered. I need a two and, what is it, seven eighths? Yep, two and seven eighths inch recess, quarter inch deep. Um, maybe a little bit more than quarter inch deep. And that'll be my recess once this is flipped around. So I'll be able to do a recess later and see that fits in perfectly. So that screen will be flush down there. It's falling out because it's on its side. A little bit of room. Looking good. Okay, we got the inside drilled out for an inch and a half. Got my uh, 70 millimeter jaws, what is it, two and seven eighths with a quarter inch recess. Now I got this little lip to bring the lid back in, make sure that fits. I was just a little off. <laughs> when I touched that a tad too aggressively. <laughs> Doesn't look bad. Let's see how she looks. <laughs> that's getting lucky. It's a little bit loose, but that's okay. <coughs> it's just going to sit on there loose, right? 
fact that it's sitting there now means I got lucky with that little jab. Let's see, this will this will obviously be up, right? So this will sit in here nicely, fill that with wood, uh, turn the flame on it, puts the smoke down into it, and then just cover it up with this lid. Keep the smoke going down. So, very good. <laughs> got the, got this part clean. So now I gotta, from this line down, this, this is an inch and a half, so I'm gonna take it down to two inches from there to there, this bottom. What is it? Inch and a quarter, maybe. Take that down, then I'll flip it around, drill smoke holes, part it off, and we'll have it. But let me get this down, and we've got to sand this side first. Okay, so I thought I was filming, and I wasn't. I started taking this down with my bowl gouge, um, and I'm being blocked coming from this direction because I don't want to take my glue block. I want to keep using this glue block. So I stopped. Um, you can see I got this 5 8 and this is a long way to go to get it two inches thick. And I'm going to part it at my glue block line when I'm done. So I'm taking a break. I'm going to sand the inside, all this, sand it to here off camera. I'll sand everything up there, get my 70 millimeter jaws put on this chuck, flip this around, and bring it back. We'll end up parting the parting this uh, glue block off and then bringing this back in down to two inches and we'll be in the home stretch back soon seem to lie to you. <laughs> I end up showing the sanding of each section. Always up to 400 for this. But I just thought it was important I showed you this sand before I flipped it over. So everything from here up is taken care of. You know, this is where the, the screen will sit in. The lid will still sit right on top. A little loose, but Still good, right? My thin little, tiniest, less than an eighth of an inch thick. Crazy how good I made that. Anyhow, this is set. Goes down one and a half inches. So I wanted to show everything up from here. So now I'll get this off of this, onto those other set of jaws flipped around, and I'll work on bringing this back piece uh, down to two inches thick. So I'll have a quarter inch around this one and a half inch hole down here. Then I'll part off the part off the glue block, drill my smoke holes, sand the bottom. Should be close to done about that point. <laughs> Beautiful. I figured it would be too much stress to part this off while it was in my recess, so I did it while I was still on the jam chuck. I mean, on the glue. On the glue. Um, so I'm gonna screw this bottom up so I can reuse it again, and then I can put this. Uh, hopefully, you saw that on camera. Hopefully, I can. Put, I'll put this on the recess uh, once I get this trued up. True up the bottom and start bringing this down to two inches. Here's the base. All right, I got that glue block saved. I think this is the first time I've ever used uh, these 70 millimeter jaws. It's interesting how they have the screw going right in between. It doesn't even have a true uh, dovetail on the, on the inside for a tenant. It does on the outside, thankfully, for a recess. I don't figure such an odd size, but, oh, I went from the wrong way. Perfect for this project. I might've made it slightly big, but that's okay. Not going to keep this too tight. Just hang tight like that. Test it, make sure it's all good. Perfect. Perfect. All right. Bring it back. All right. Flipped around. 
uh, flattened off the bottom, marked out two inches. Uh, that'll leave a quarter inch thickness on each side, so I'm not going to go within that line. Just start uh, taking this down because the one thing I want the smoke holes to be on the side. I don't want, I'm going to try to avoid having a hole on the very bottom. I thought about it, but in case the torch blows any ash uh, through the through the screen, I didn't want it coming out the bottom hole into the drink. So my holes for the smoke will be on the side of this. how oak cuts with my bowl head and that's an incredible surface 240 anyway that's as close as I'm gonna go I just uh, am sloped a little bit so I got to straighten this off then flatten the bottom and then I'm obviously gonna make a rim for this to I want this to be able to sit on as big as a three and a half inch uh, uh, glass right so I'm gonna indent this a little bit like I did on the lid just kind of indent this so it can sit in flat on my glass. But let me get this straightened up off camera. All right, other than sanding, I got the bottom how I want it. I just got to make a little, little concave about there to there so it can rest on a glass nice without slipping off. Well, I guess it won't slip off with this here. Hopefully I don't screw this up, but I just want to go in about an eighth of an inch from there to there. Then I can get to sanding. and sand it and a little bit more. I want to go a little bit deeper. I got to remember that recess in there, but I think you know what I mean. I just don't want it banging off against the glass. So I'll go a little bit deeper, clean up this edge, and then get to sanding. Actually, before I sand, I lock this in place. I'm going to drill holes, 3 16 inch uh, holes. I think I'll do, I was pulling on four, but I think I'll do six, go all the way through. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Oops, already smoking. <laughs> Might not be able to do that. I don't have enough room. So I'll just line it up. Thankfully, this locks in place at the different sections. So I'm going to do that six more times around. I'm sanding again. I really like my design that I came up with, but it's kind of tough to sand and get in these uh, get in these little crevices. That little eighth of an inch going down there, reaching backwards, man, that's something else. Anyhow, that's the bottom. Drilled six holes. I, holes. I ended up making them um, a quarter inch. The three sixteenths didn't seem big enough. Um, the only thing I'm not happy about, other than my lid being a little thin, was I should have I should have drawn lines and lined this up perfectly. Uh, they're a little off. 
just slightly off center and not not equal and then on uh on one of them i pulled the drill out sloppily and it took a little chunk out so my prototype's going to be a little flawed here the last little step and i screwed it up a little just by being sloppy with the drill but anyhow it's sanded let me get it off of here all right the first of 12 cocktail smokers my prototype is turned um let's see it'll sit in here it'll sit on the bottom little rim here so it'll sit nice on a cup or glass i mean um i eyeballed and was sloppy with the drill like i said i ended up making six quarter inch holes um should have done them equally placed and i'll do that on the next time uh, with any other additions but obviously the screen goes right in there you put your uh put your wood chips in put it in put it on top of your drink shoot the butane torch straight down there's not a hole in the bottom the smoke will come out these holes and as soon as that's lit put the lid right on top see how nicely it sits and then the smoke will get on the cocktail so obviously i'm going to try that out on camera and show it how, how good it does but i just wanted to show the turnings done all sanded like i said um I'll fix, I'll fix how I drill these holes next time and do a much better job, cleaner job, equally spaced. I'm too uh, <laughs> OCD to, to, accept, to accept that, but the rest of my design came out pretty good, um, other than this lid being too thin, but the lid's the least important part, right? You can figure that I had my little notes that I followed, my little diagram that I followed as best I could. Um, but yeah, just made use of Obviously, that was a tenant made use of. I got rid of that. Made use of uh, these other jaws with this recess here. And yeah, I'm gonna put a finish on it tomorrow. It's pretty late tonight. Put a finish on this tomorrow, let that cure, and then uh, we'll test it out before I finish this video on a cocktail. See you soon. All right, of course I decided to get the finish on tonight. It's super late, but why waste the time? I'm gonna use tried and true. Just do one coat front and back and put on and say it looks beautiful close to perfect but not quite right I'm gonna give this a couple days let it fully dry feel fully cure then we're gonna smoke some whiskey have a good night All right, welcome back. It's been a couple days. That food safe finish has had time to cure. So we're ready for the moment of truth. See how my design works. So I'm using uh, Ambrosia Maple. And because I don't want it to go immediately up in flames, I do smoke uh, barbecue meats and stuff. So I did dampen this a little bit so it wouldn't just immediately burst into flames because I want smoke, right? Anyway, let's see how this goes. Hopefully I didn't dampen it too much. The smoke's going up. Seem to be getting the smoke in in there. I probably made it too damp. I packed it too tightly, huh? <laughs> yeah, we're getting a bunch of smoke down there. I just didn't hold it on long enough. 
Either they're too wet or too, too wet, too packed tightly. Now the smoke's getting in there. Hopefully you can see it. First time smoking a cocktail, so practice makes perfect. That second shot, I think I, you know, too much water, too packed too tightly. That second shot got more smoke down there. Let's see what it did to the, a little bit, not too bad. Didn't really mess with that too much. Let's see. Oh yeah, look at all that smoke. Beautiful. Let's taste, oh, sorry for the bump. Let's taste this thing. Wow. Oh yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. That is pretty good. Oh man. I'm not much of a wine drinker, so I can't give those flavors, but man. Definitely added a sweetness. Definite sweet smokiness. That made a difference. That made a difference. Hopefully this isn't too hot. I don't burn my finger here. I'm very curious. Oh yeah, see? I didn't even burn it all. I packed it too tight. So I'll learn on that. But the design worked. Oh, and this is what I was most curious about. I don't know if this will pick it up. There is a little bit of soot down at the bottom. And that was the entire reason of not putting a hole. The, I mean, obviously you're gonna get the most smoke down in the glass if you put a hole in the bottom. But I was worried about what kind of ash and stuff would make it through the filter and get down into your drink. Um, there is some remnants down there. Hopefully that shows up and that's enough to pollute your drink, right? So hopefully the holes on the side is a trick. Uh, I just got to do a better job of, of uh, getting just the slightest bit of moisture so it doesn't go immediately up in flames and burst into flames and pack not so tight so I burn it all and get all the smoke in there. But man, that was a good cocktail. It really did something to change the flavor of this whiskey. Um, got it. I, I enjoy it. So let's see. After an end review, um, can't give it an A+. Plus. Design-wise, everything was perfect, um, except for the drill holes that I mentioned. I want to make those maybe a little more prominent, a little more equal, so it looks better. But the overall design is real simple, easy to make. A um, little bit of charring right there, but this, you'll be able to use it multiple times. This lid's okay, even though it's thin. Um, very minimal, minimal damage, easy to make. Sanding's a little difficult. And yeah, because of those, the way I did the holes, I got to give it an A minus. But uh, like I said, this is my prototype, my first attempt at this. It's pretty, pretty good, I gotta say. And I definitely like what it did to the whiskey. Um, I'll fix how I, how I pack it next time. But I'll come up with another video if I end up with any variations. I got 11 more of these to make. This one's mine. Uh, I got some stocking stuffers for family members and friends for this Christmas. Um, but anyhow, I really appreciate you watching. Hopefully you stayed to the end of this video and enjoyed it. Um, if you make your own cocktail smoker, come up with your own designs, uh, please tag me. I'd love to see what you come up with and how you do it. Um, maybe brainstorming with different ideas, we can come up with the ultimate uh, wood turning cocktail smoker somehow. But anyhow, it was a cool little project, something different, not a bowl all the time. Anyhow, uh, last thing I want to mention, um, you guys get me up to 500 subscribers. Uh, I forget how close I am, but get me up to 500 subscribers. We'll do a giveaway and I'll make you one of these. So ship it free of charge anywhere in the world. As long as I'm allowed to do that, I'm not going to check anything legal. But as long as I'm allowed to ship it anywhere, I ship obviously not the torch and butane, but I'll ship the smoker, maple shavings, whatever you want. I'll ship it to you. Uh, we'll have a drawing once you get me up to 500 subscribers. Anyhow, salut. All right, I enjoyed that so much. We're going to do a bonus. Bonus attempt. Let's see. I love that part of the design. Less wet.
less packed. Let's see if that changes changes anything. Cheers. I might be enjoying this a little too much. One final time for the night. Accidentally turn that turn that down a little bit. Hopefully this shows you the smoke getting in there.